I aspire to inspire till I expire. Hi folks, my name is Manini Day. You know me as a film and television actress. I'm a voice artist. I'm an empath, a parent, a healer, and I work for animals, for children, and for women's rights. You know, today is a very, very beautiful day that I am getting to share my story with you, which is no less than a 70 mm film. Yes, there is nothing small about my life for sure. From the time that I was born, I was born in the seventh month. My mother was told not to get attached to me because I may not make it. But my mother saw me in that incubator with my feisty little thin arms, you know, absolutely, uh, should I say, boxing in the air and, and being really feisty. And my mother said, this kid is definitely going to make it. Ever since that time, my journey has not been a very easy one. I'm not going to give you some soft story because my life is nothing close to a soft story. It has been a story of a warrior, of somebody who has learned to surmount. Somebody who stands in her power, in her magnificence, in self-belief. Did it happen overnight? Was I born like this? No, no, far from it. I was a very underconfident child. I was always told that I'm not good looking enough. I was told that I don't fit into the boxes of society. I have to behave this way. I have to sit that way. Oh my God, my natural exuberance is too much for people to take. Why am I so sensitive? Oh my God, why am I so emotional? Why am I so em empathetic? You know, these whys, whys, whys really used to trouble me. And I used to think I'm an alien who's been dropped on this planet at the wrong time, by the wrong person, right, at the wrong address. But by and by, I realized that I was not ever meant to fit into boxes. I'm a genie in a bottle. Trust me, I feel like a genie. And the day this genie actually came out of the bottle, everything that she was told about herself got deconstructed, broken, smashed. And that's the day I realized that I am unique like each one of you. I have my own life path, my own purpose. Mark Twain said that the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you realize your purpose. When I was born, I realized my journey is not going to be an easy one. And trust me, it isn't, it wasn't. But my purpose, when I started finding that out, after a lot of questioning to the universe, was simple, love. I was here to spread love. I'm here to be compassionate, to have empathy, to be a sense of, you know, how do you say, sense of, uh, to give you a sense of security, to strengthen you, to empower you, to make you believe in your own magnificence. Because my story is one that actually exemplifies courage under fire or grace under fire. So I begin from my childhood. Uh, my parents, uh, you know, upper middle class. Uh, we lived in Delhi. My mother was a bureaucrat. Father was a businessman. Um, all the possible comforts were given to us. Uh, but I went through something in my childhood. Um, and that was a certain kind of an abuse which changed my entire perception to the world. I went through uh, sexual abuse at the hands of somebody who was known to the family. And that really sort of impacted my, uh, my relationships later on. Uh, the fear that, you know, people said, oh, because you're so exuberant, that's why you attract this kind of attention. That's not true. That is not true. I did not know how to have uh, boundaries. I was too young. Nobody taught me that uh, this is not right or that is not right. And I lived in fear. And that fear really took away all my confidence. It took away all that exuberance that I had. And I, I fell in love with books. I lost myself in literature. I lost myself in, in, in a make-believe world. I had make-believe friends. I had uh, imaginary companions. And it was great because uh, I couldn't really relate to real people because either they were too harsh or they were too judgmental or they didn't understand uh, why I, I think the way I do or the way I, that I, I, I speak. And I've been a monkey since my childhood. Now you would say, what's a monkey? Monkey is somebody who can copy very fast. If I see something, I immediately catch it. I, I, I can, I can uh, you know, um, kind of uh, sort of imbibe it very fast. I used to uh, enact uh, certain conversations that I'd heard, snatches of it in front of my um, colony kids, okay? And they used to find me very amusing. So I realized that 
Despite being told that I was not conventionally good looking, I was bad at maths, which means that I was not sharp enough or bright enough. I had this one gift within me, which was basically that I was an entertainer. Within me, I was very lonely. I was, I, I was uh, miserable. I didn't know what to do. But I have always transmuted all my pain into my power. And that is my superpower. <laughs> because uh, any, any rocks that have been thrown on me, I've built a castle out of that. So you can't keep me down for too long. My, my spirit is too strong, too feisty, too amazing. You can't keep me down and nothing and nobody can do that to me. Um, when I was growing up, um, because I didn't understand what self-love was, I started attracting many kinds of people, you know, who, who would uh, kind of take a lot away from me. And I, I just wanted to please them. I was a people pleaser. Today, in hindsight, I, I understand that how detrimental it was to my mental health. So I, I took up a course, I studied uh, cognitive behavior therapy because I wanted to know who I am. Until I get to know who I am, I wouldn't be able to help anybody. And that kind of opened my life, uh, you know, understanding somebody's psyche that, that wounded people or hurt people hurt people. So you can't be judgmental, which is not to say that hurting somebody is right. I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying that certain people who hurt you a lot need a lot more compassion than the others. Maybe they're not able to express. So your childhood is your foundation. If your childhood is scarred or marred or if it is, it, it is not healthy mentally, um, it impacts the rest of your life, your relationships, your entire worldview, your perception. And that's exactly what happened with me. Well, I decided I am not going to cry over it. I have thrown a lot of pity parties to myself. Trust me, I'm not going to lie here, stand here and say, oh, I've always been very, very strong. No, 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 no. There have been moments when I've sat on the floor, uh, laid on the floor, cried, scramped, prayed, every possible thing. But you know what? The only answer was, baby girl, your own savior. You are your own savior. You are your own rescue. And then one day I told myself, enough. Enough of begging for love. Enough of begging for support. I am going to be my own superwoman. And this is where I stand today. This journey has been one of ups and downs that you can, can, can't even fathom. I've been criticized. I've been called names. I've been like all of us, right? And, and I didn't fit into any box. So I was not good enough for everybody. But the day I realized that, you know what? I can't please everybody. Let me begin by pleasing myself. Very tough for me. सेल्फ लव का मतलब ही नहीं पता था जब एयरक्राफ्ट में आपको ऑक्सीजन मास्क दिया जाता है तो कहा जाता है पहले आप पहनिए उसके बाद किसी और को लगाइए हमें तो कॉन्सेप्ट ही नहीं समझ में आता था नहीं 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 आई एम अ गिवर आई एम एन एम्पैथ मैं तो आपको दे दूंगी आप मेरी जान ले लो इट डजंट वर्क लाइक दैट यू हैव टू बैलेंस यू कैन गिव बट इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू टेक यू लिव इन इंबैलेंस so my relationships taught me how to understand how powerful how how amazing i was and i actually thank each one of them for showing me one aspect of me that i couldn't see you know uh, plain i mean truth was hiding in plain sight and i just couldn't see it so i always believe that every obstacle that comes is an opportunity for growth and i mean every word of what i say every time that i have received hurt every time i've had heartbreak every time that i've been criticized every time that i've been you know uh, thrown to the wolves i have come back leading the pack because i have an innate sense of strength i believe in the divine my curencia is faith i know there is somebody up there who handles everything so beautifully. So the divine walks with me. I am the favorite child of God. And God said, I want to see how you ace it. So here I am standing in front of you. This girl who was not considered good looking enough um, became the face of 93, was chosen for Femina Miss India 1994. Uh, thanks to Sushmita Sen, I need to thank her because she was the one who actually believed in me and she prodded me to fill up my form. Thank you, Sush. Um, I came back with two crowns, Miss Congeniality, Miss Personality, and my whole life changed. One more thing I need to tell you. Every time I said never, ever, is when I was made to do it. So don't tempt faith. I never say never again. Whatever experiences come, I embrace them. Even as an actor, I believe that every character has come to me to teach me one aspect of myself, to show me the mirror about the areas that I needed to work upon. And some characters absolutely 
tore me, broke me, deconstructed me and some characters made me see that strength in me that I had not seen before. You know, creativity is a very, cre the creative field is a very immersive, very, very collaborative field. Uh, so many energies come together and that's when something is made. I realize how important teamwork is. I realize how important it is to be vulnerable. It's not an easy thing. But as actors, we show you the naked self from within, the heart, the soul, the vulnerability of a character. And that makes me feel like I am very blessed to be a, an accidental actor because I never wanted to be an actor. And it's crazy that everything I've said no to, I've become. So I never say never. Another thing that I realized in life was, you know, people who criticize you, if you start looking at it as criticism, you will start hating them. But if you see them as people who are trying to show you something in you, you will make them teachers. Everybody that you meet in your life's journey is here to teach you something. Some come for lessons, some come in as blessings. My mom used to say that some people come for a season and some people come for a reason and some people stay forever. I don't know about the forever because for me, forever only exists in Disney movies. Uh, so I live in the moment and it's been a tough journey for me. Living in the moment, I'm here, I'm now. This is me. So all that I need to share with you, all, all that I want to tell you is that please wake up that sleeping giant within you. You are simply amazing. You're magnificent. Your passions, the way you are, the way you talk, the way you... You know, you, you process information is unique to you. Two thumbprints are not the same. So two people are not the same. Please understand that you are a unique gift of the divine, from the divine to this world. Let's make this world a beautiful place by actually understanding that love is the only superpower. You know, we can make nuclear missiles, we can make nuclear fossil, we can create, I don't know what not, arms and this and that and the other. But the need of the hour is only love and compassion. Hurt people hurt people. So next time somebody hurts you, please understand that maybe this person is really hurting from inside, which is not to say that you, you uh, forgive them for what they're doing, but make peace for yourself. Forgiveness, a very important thing, which I used to not, you know, it wasn't even on, on, on the horizon. I realized forgiveness is for your own peace, for your own sanity. You cannot be somebody who's, who's prosperous or fruitful or, or flourishing if you keep things in your heart that are not for your highest good. So delete everything that is not meant for your highest good. People will come. You will get hurt. There will be heartbreaks. It's okay. You're human, right? This three-dimensional world is your school and you're here to take certain lessons that you chose. So stop blaming the Lord above and start taking responsibility for the lessons that you need to take. And ace them. That's it. You know, mujhe kisi ne kaha tha ki, jab kisi taar mein bijli nahi hoti na ma'am, to us pe log kapde sukhate hain. And that's the day I understood one thing. Being humble, being grounded, being, being um, you know, um, an easy going person is wonderful. लेकिन कभी कभी उस तार में थोड़ी सी बिजली रखनी चाहिए उन लोगों के लिए जिनको लगता है कि आपका इतना सरल होना या या इतना सिंपल होना आपकी वीकनेस है नो इट्स माय स्ट्रेंथ टुडे हैविंग वॉक थ्रू लैबरेंस ऑफ लेबल्स एंड एंड नेम्स एंड आई डोंट नो व्हाट एल्स होल्डिंग अ वेरी वेरी फर्म बिलीफ इन माई हार्ट दैट वेर लाइफ टेक्स मी आई विल गो विद द फ्लो I have stopped going against the flow. I don't resist anymore. I let go and I let God. So my message to you would be, please look at yourself in the mirror today. Recognize how amazingly blessed you are. Be in gratitude because it is a superpower. Trust me, the minute you are in gratitude, the universe shifts. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. There is cause and effect. Everything that's happening to you has been caused by you. Start taking responsibility. Stop lying to yourself. If there is an issue, if there is an area that you need to work on, address it. Have no shame. You are only answerable to yourself and nobody else. So end of the day, remember one thing. You are you. You do you. Because nobody else can be you.
This is Manini Day saying thank you to SD College Chandigarh for this amazing opportunity. And TEDx is 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 a platform that you know I am a huge fan of because I believe we are all here to inspire. We are all here to make many of our fellow men, fellow women recognize their splendor, their strength, their passion, their, their, you know, what they are, their forces of nature. And the beauty is that when you can hold each other's hands and say, you're amazing, never forget that. So never let anybody tell you otherwise. You are simply magnificent. You're the most exquisite creation of the divine. Yes, turbulences will come. Yes, tsunamis will come. Nobody said they won't. Life is not supposed to be a bed of roses. Well, not. No, it isn't. So, now you dance through those labyrinths and you make it your magnum opus. Thank you so much. Thank you and God bless.